So one thing that a lot of stylists ask me is how to set a healthy boundary between you and your clients. Um, in this day and age, you know, with social media, text messaging, all the different avenues that people can get a hold of you, it can kind of seem like you really can't escape it. So this thing that I'm about to show you is actually completely free and it made a huge difference in my business in setting that really necessary healthy boundary between me and my clients. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and I help stylists build their brand, business, and technical skills. So if that's something that you've been trying to do, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell for new videos weekly. So for me, I always found it kind of difficult trying to set like a healthy boundary between me and my clients because I wanted to be, you know, that person that was completely accessible, uh, somebody that people felt like they could really trust and that I was there for them whenever they needed me. I wanted to give them the best possible customer service that I could. So as I started to get a lot busier, I really felt like this started to take a toll on me because I felt like even after working maybe a 10 hour day, I was still constantly receiving all of these messages about people's urgent scheduling needs or, you know, they're trying to get in or, you know, things like that. And I felt like it was just really taking a toll on me and making me feel like I didn't really have control over my business and that can just be really stressful because you know you have a family life you have a home life and you want to be present in that life as well so it is very important that you you know keep a healthy boundary between your clients so I'm going to show you exactly what I did to help and hopefully this will kind of help you out as well so feeling like I constantly had to make myself 100% available on the spot all the time to clients really made me feel like a little bit taken advantage of sometimes and sometimes that would make me feel a little bit bitter and I feel like that affected kind of my attitude towards clients and that's when I kind of realized that okay this is something that I need to get a hold of because you know I have a family life too and I need to make sure that I'm present for that life as well and it just can't completely take over my entire life. If you're an independent stylist you probably understand exactly what I'm talking about um, even if you're a commission stylist too, I mean, sometimes this is a big problem in that area as well. So what I did that kind of helped me solve this problem was I got a Google business voicemail. And this is actually an incredible tool and I can't even believe it's free because it's really amazing. Basically, it sends you notifications every time someone calls your business number to your phone. You can actually screen all the calls. So, you know, sometimes I would be just like scared about answering calls all the time because I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to like, you know, actually handle a situation right now. I'm kind of in the middle of dinner with my family. So I would be, I would kind of like never answer calls until it was like a good time for me to answer calls. And so what you can do with the Google voice number is actually pick up the phone and you're not going to talk directly to the person yet. First, you can actually set it up so that it says, you know, incoming call from so-and-so. So you know, okay, this is a client calling, so you can choose to either accept the call or put the call to voicemail. And then in your voicemail, you could just have a really friendly message telling people how to reach you. If you don't want to talk to all your clients on the phone, you know, you can kind of direct them to contact you through email or through, a, or even they could text message you through the Google voice number. So it's really a cool tool and it just helped me so much because this way you can actually set a time for when you want to respond to people. You don't have to feel like you're on the spot all the time and you have to have an answer for everything right away because sometimes, especially with scheduling issues, I mean, maybe you don't have 10 minutes to try to rearrange stuff, contact all these people to make sure that you can kind of rearrange something to accommodate that client right then and there. You can kind of, you know, set aside a time to make sure that you are ready to deal with it and ready and you, you know, you have the time to kind of handle it properly. And that'll just help you not be so stressed out and it will help you become a lot less bitter toward clients because when we start to feel like clients are taking over our lives, it can make us feel bitter, especially when it pushes into our family life. And that's what I notice about me. And maybe you felt this way too at times. And this to me has been just an amazing solution for handling that problem. So I'm actually going to jump onto the computer and show you exactly how to set this up. All right. So really quickly, I'm just going to show you how to set this up. So the first thing that you want to do is I would just go into the Google search box and type in Google voice.
Okay, and then it's like Google Voice or Google.com slash voice. So that's what the URL is. So now I'm going to want to make sure that I sign into my email account. So I'm just going to say for personal use, because with the business, you're going to be charged monthly, but um, with personal use, you won't be charged. So you're going to need to download the app in the app store and it is a free app. So go ahead and on your phone, you're going to download that app and make sure you're synced to the same Gmail account as you are when you're doing it on the computer. All right, so once you're signed in, if you look at the top left corner of your screen, um, this is where you're gonna be able to see all your calls, messages, voicemail. You are going to be able to pick any number that you want really, and you could even cho choose the area code so it doesn't have to look like it's coming from a foreign country or something weird like that. And then you could also set this up so that it actually emails you every time you get a voicemail and you could turn off notifications on your phone if you just don't want to be bombarded with messages and you could easily turn them on when you're ready to start accepting them. So then if you go in the top right hand corner, you're going to see your little icon and that tells you what email or Gmail account you are signed into. So just make sure it's the same Gmail account as um, the app on your phone. So then if you want to change your settings, you're going to click on the little settings wheel right there and that's going to bring you to the settings page. So this is kind of what the settings page looks like. So this is where you're going to be able to change so many different settings. So I would just look through all of them and make sure it's set up exactly how you want. And you know, you're going to be able to do things like I was talking about before where you can actually basically send all your calls to voicemail. And what happens is when somebody calls, you could set it up so that the person has to say their name when they call and you could either choose to accept the call right away or send it to voicemail. Or maybe you want to send it to voicemail and just text them because you can't really, you know, you don't have the time to call them right now. So you can send it to voicemail and text them through the Google Voice app. So you can really do everything that you can do with a normal phone and more, and of course way more than a landline. But you can do whatever you can with a regular cell phone. It's just you're gonna have a different number associated with your business. And the benefit of this is, you know, clients don't have to have your personal cell phone number if you're an independent stylist. And if you are just, maybe you're a commission stylist, but you still book your own clients, nobody has to have your independent number, but yet you can send text messages, you could send, you know, voicemails, you can do everything you can with your regular phone number. And also a really cool benefit of this as well is say you are an independent stylist and you rent a studio or something and, you know, you're listed, your uh, number is listed all over the internet because that is the place where people are going to call you to set appointments and stuff. So a lot of times what happens is these numbers get bombed with spam. I remember when I was using my cell phone number, I was so frustrated because I would get like 10 different calls from people, you know, who have businesses that are like marketing businesses to help small businesses, stuff like that. So I'd just be getting all these spam calls all day long because my number was out there. So this is a great way to be able to screen all those calls and make sure that it's not kind of bombarding your personal cell phone number with that. So if you still have questions about how to set this up, if you get stuck, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll be sure and help you as quickly as possible. Also, let me know if you have a Google voicemail and if you've tried any of those settings. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Share this video if this was something that was really helpful to you. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next week.